This is Robbie with Believe in the Run. This is Taylor with Believe in the Run. We're here with Nick from Brooks Running. We're going to talk about some of Brooks' trail coming out in 2024. Some exciting stuff. I feel like uh, I think I feel like Brooks Trail has kind of like in the last few years started like overhauling some stuff. Has made some really nice shoes and made some nice strides in the trail running game. The designs are looking really good, but yeah, let's get into it. Cool. Love the watch too, by the way. Uh, thanks. Yeah, it's a throwback. I feel like there's some like dude. Uh, yeah, it's, right. Like, matches it's perfectly. matching great. Well, it literally matches perfectly. <laughs> That's awesome. Probably what yeah. Scott Jerk. We need wore a partnership with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True. That's great. Cool. All right, let's get into it. What do yeah. you want to start with? Yeah, so it's, it's as you mentioned, big rehaul on the trail line the past couple of years. Really wanted to create a whole line of distinction and usage. So you cannot just have one shoe. You can you know pick one shoe depending on what you want to do, but you can also just own all shoes across the board for many different reasons, many different kind of styles if you're running or where you're going to run. Yeah. So I got to talk about the buckets and capsules that we're doing for trail. So we have light trail. It's like road hot. Road to trail hybrid it's if you're new to trail if you're just getting into it for the first time or if you just need like a city park easy uh -huh. hybrid shoe the uh, divide five that comes out in fall 24 okay really kind of wanted to make a the challenge on this was making a ghost 14 trail but okay. for 110 dollars yeah. for the new to trail person just getting into it so really really similar stack heights on that loft v2 super soft ride smooth off the off the trail on the trail really just kind of most versatile style yeah and in, in the past with the divide we've really like it is really a nice transition mm -hmm. if you're going from yeah, primarily yeah. road yeah. running background to getting into trails it's really low stakes really yeah yeah, yeah absolutely i mean i gotta say the the value on the divide has always been amazing and for 110 bucks you're getting an actually a really good trail shoe yeah like you'll see a lot of from a lot of other brands, some of the entry-level trail shoes are still $140 or something like that. Yep. But for someone who doesn't want to, you know, drop in that much investment and in maybe starting on trails, I feel like the Divide is a great shoe that I feel like I'd recommend a lot of people as like a starting shoe. Cool. Um, yep. That's exactly right. So really, really nice. And seeing these, uh, it looks like some added, um, some more the lug traction, mm -hmm. just like more like nice build up shoes. Looks yeah. Good. yeah. Trail tech green outsole with 25% uh, yeah. recycle content, high surface area lugs. Mm -hmm. So it really feels very consistent uh, off off and on the trail. It's nice. All right, let's move yeah. on. As you are starting to get more into trail running, you're starting to get a little bit more of the vibe for it, the love for the mountains. First shoe that really people go after is the Cascadia. It's been around for set 18 years. Yeah. Fall before, 20. before the Lone Peak, before yeah. the Speed Go, this <laughs> yeah. was the shoe. This Still is around. the heritage shoe. We are going to keep this in line for another 18 years, evolve it along the way. But you will notice that there was a huge change of the 16. Yeah huge change for the 17. Really fun uh, background on this. The 17 was three years in the making, went five rounds of testing. We, one of the rounds of testing, we had this really, really cool concept of using eye tracking goggles to figure out where the runners are looking on the trail as they were testing different models. And if they're looking really low to the ground, they don't feel as confident. If they're looking farther out, five, 10 feet when they're navigating their line, they starting to feel more confident. And this tooling was the one that carried forward that offered the most confidence for technical, wow, rugged great. kind of terrains. Wow. It's made with a trail adapt system. The 18, same midsole, same outsole as the 17. Big change is mostly the upper, so it's more breathable, dries faster. But the trail adapt system is a really, really cool system where we took inspiration from two things, uh, a Jeep 4x4 with independent suspension okay. truck. So it offers more of that kind of like articulated compression of each of the pods as you're running over the trail. Okay. So much smoother, much more grip, kind of the grip kind of wraps around rocks as you're running. Mm -hmm. Now, but, will people understand that or is it a Jeep thing? It's like, a Jeep okay. thing, you know? Do you, do you have to wave to people as you're running that shoe? You do. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> The other uh, inspiration was actually a mountain goat hoof. So this split line in the forefoot offers more uh, articulation. So it just kind of wraps and goes as you're uphill climbing and going over technical terrains. Okay. And the rock plate is this very cool kind of uh, trident style. So the whole thing is just meant to compress and adapt over the trails better thus the trail adapt system. Yeah, okay. So it's uh, super stable, but you're also getting tons of protection and tons of uh, control. Cool. Man, we got Trident, uh, <laughs> goat hooves, Jeeps in one shoe. We're throwing so, it all in. I feel like that's a mythology that could only come from a trail shoe. That's awesome. I like yeah, it. I love it. All right, cool. So let's cool. move on to the Caldera. 
Um, this is uh, just one of those like monster truck shoes that can really handle anything. That's um, exactly right. I know I wore the Caldera 6, mm -hmm. I believe, from uh, 50K last year and uh, really had just like a great experience with it. Uh, so tell me more about what's coming in the 7. Yeah, I'm super psyched for you to try this one. A lot of changes, but they're evolved from the learnings from the six. We worked really, really closely with Hillary Allen, one of our athletes, Mario Mendoza, who just uh, did very well at Leadville. And we were finding out from the six what they liked and what they didn't like. And so what we did from the six to the seven was we lowered the uh, those raised sidewalls for holding your foot in and creating yeah. support, but we lowered in certain areas. We wanted to make it more flexible and more uh, movable and have more uh, less torsional rigidity. Okay. That way it's more stable on your downhills, it's going to adapt in, to the terrains better, it's going to have more flex for the uphill, that's going to give you more control on technical terrains. The lugs, they have more penetration of the geometry, so they're going to dig into different kind of styles of dirt better. We took that mountain goat hoof example and give more control for uphill climbability. And the upper is a totally brand new uh, material. It's actually called a TPEE material uh -huh. that is this like derivative of TPU and then polyester on the inside. So this gotcha. is super, super durable. It's scratch resistant, lasts a ton, but on the inside, it's still really soft and comfortable. Okay, cool. And then uh, when when does this shoe come out? This is gonna be January. Okay, so that's coming soon. And yeah. what's the price point on this? 150. 150, okay. Now does this pick up any weight over the last version or is it similar? Drops. Oh yeah. really? Yeah, okay. so no the else. last one was 11. The seven is now uh, 10.6 ounces. Okay, cool. Which was really one of the things that was like really only a real thing we could knock about it was yeah. that weight was yeah. weight was up there and yeah. but it ran smooth and so cool. Sweet. lower weight still smooth. So is this a gator attachment back here? It is, yeah. Okay. And is there uh, is there one coming for the like a gator point for the front? Not for yeah. this one okay. on the front. So a lot of runners we just ha we, we're finding right. out that they hook to the front of okay. the lace. Right. And so we do have them just hooked to that area. Gotcha. We wanted to having a gator attachment on the front sometimes can create some stiffness. Uh -huh. Right. on the u throat yeah. so if you want to adjust the lacing on the run that can kind of lock up the ability of s suctioning in the forefoot so we wanted to have a bunch of flexibility here and then they could just hook it right to the front yeah. if they need to cool. is now, it a little narrower in the forefoot too or is that just my imagination it widens out a tiny bit okay so when you lowered the uh walls of the forefoot to make it more flexible it actually did cause a little bit more of an open accommodating kind of vibe so feel. in so many ways this is your ultra distant shoe yeah, yeah. All day, every yep. any mile you want to do. Yeah. Now the uh, I, we did get the price point in the Cascadia. So what is that again? That is one forty. Okay, and this is one fifty. One fifty. Okay, cool. Great. Yeah. Um, great value. Yeah, yeah. Really yeah. fun story too on the Caldera Seven. But we were at a UTMB reconnaissance trip in uh, Chamonix last, I want to say last August, a year ago. And Hillary Allen was doing a 30 mile training run on the backside over by Comayer. Yeah. And we gave her this first prototype of the Caldera 7. She'd kind of been in the six, she's really, really liked it. But she, we were like, hey, try this out. She's like, All right, I'm gonna go try it on a 30 mile run. A little bit, you're always kind of a little bit worried when you're on the backside in the middle of nowhere with a brand new <laughs> shoe. So I was like, oh, I really, really hope she likes it. Yeah. And she comes back and she's like, don't change anything. I love it. I'm using it for UTMB. Oh, wow. And then, you know, three weeks later, she goes and gets 14th at UTMB. Yeah. Had a wonderful experience awesome. and loved the shoe. So we, we worked pretty closely with her on that one. Very cool. All right. We're looking forward to that one for sure. Uh, yeah, let's move on. Cool. Uh, in the speed trail category, we have Catamount and Catamount Agile. The Catamount Agile, totally brand new shoe for us. Yep. We have, I want to say about 50 global athletes from six different countries and a lot of them do short distance races, 15K to 42K, and they needed something for VK races, yeah. short distance. A lot of them were using our Hyperion Tempo road shoe for trail yeah. races, oh, yeah. and they were like, hey, let's make you something, let's uh, give you something that you need for those short distance races. So this is like pure grip it and rip it, yeah. flash version two, uh, midsole foam, okay. so same foam that's on the Hyperion Elite. It has a speed vault trail plate, it's two plates and each plate has two fingers on it. Oh, I see. So the whole thing is to be like very flexible and really adaptable to the terrain so you can grip it and rip it over rocks, yeah. but it's just super snappy. Yep. I mean, what's the stack height on this? Like, it's, uh, I can get you the facts uh, in a bit. There's it's not much real. Here. It's the lowest yeah. one we got. It's the closest say. to the ground. It's yeah. like pure precision, yeah. pure speed. And there's been some, Elites have been tearing it up in this shoe yeah. uh, globally. And yeah. so 
We've gotten a couple podiums. There was yeah. a uh, the Golden Trail World Series. We had two in the uh, top ten. Yeah. Yep. Which wearing awesome. that shoe. Very yeah. cool. And oh, what's the price point on this one? That's 180. 180. Yep. Okay. And that's when's that come out? That is going to be in finally in January. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Pretty soon. But we've been do that, it's been on athletes' feet for the past year. We've been yeah. doing testing about year year and a half with them. And did Mario Mendoza just use this in the quad dipsy too? Do you know? Yeah. I yeah, think yeah. He did. Yep. Yeah. And uh, Broken Arrow. Sweet. Awesome. Tempo, uh, it was a early prototype. Okay, nice, very cool. And then the brother sister sibling yep. shoe is the Catamount. Catamount 3, it's carryover, same tooling. It uses okay. a Sky Vault plate, so that is for efficiency of uphill running. It gives a little bit uh, of propulsion and pop, but it's really meant for adaptability and being yeah. able to move over rocks. But you have DNA flash underfoot, so really responsive, really, really lightweight, really well cushioned. In Big chick. This is one of our sleeper shoes of last year. Of like, nice. It's really hard to knock on any level of what it's made for. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, it's super smooth, super versatile. Nice. I use it for a lot of like road to trail, but also can do some pretty technical trail. Cool. It. Yeah. Um, so is the upper is basically the only yeah. difference? Yep. Okay. Big change yeah. to the upper. It used to have this same air mesh with the TPEE. Yeah. It went to a single layer mesh, but we weaved in those fibers. So it's still durable, but it's lighter, it's more breathable, it dries faster. It went down about a half ounce. Yeah. It's a bit improved fit too, so it has a little bit more of a wrapped fit around the foot. Great. And what's the price point of this? 170. And it comes out when? January. All right, so everything's, is everything January? These, January, and these are gonna be July. Oh, okay. Divide Sweet. and Cascadia. All right. Awesome. So there's some, some exciting stuff. I, I really like the designs coming out of Brooks Trail. Um, just some really fun stuff. Cool, cool. Like throwback vibes. Uh, I think, yeah, all together, really nice. Looking forward to it. Getting some miles in. I'm sure you're yeah. looking. I'm here. really looking forward. Yeah. It's nice to see Brooks making like a big comeback mm -hmm. in yeah. the trail Good. realm. Yeah. yeah. Happy to hear it. Thanks, guys. Appreciate yeah. that. Cool. Yeah. All right. Thanks for talking to us through the shoes. Thank you. Right. Appreciate Thanks. it.